This is Laudabo village in southwest China's Lantang County and is home to Lahu ethnic group. Traditional forms of entertainment have been a major source of income for the people here in recent years. We never thought that our ethnic songs and dance could attract visitors. During holidays, we usually give two performances a day, and the ticket sales have brought us a handsome income. But things were quite different before. Lahu people belong to one of the most underprivileged ethnic groups who had a very difficult time before the founding of the People's Republic of China. As 59-year-old Li Shikai recalls, even in the 1990s, they lived a humble life. Back then, we lived in thatched houses and didn't have enough food and clothing. There was only a dirt road, and it was not easy to go outside. We even needed a torch at night. The country's poverty alleviation efforts have changed all this. Now, they have all daily necessities and infrastructure that they need. Li Shikai and some fellow villagers even have their own homestays. And what has happened in Laodabao is not an isolated case. Some 50 kilometers away is another well-preserved village, mostly inhabited by blonde people. For centuries, tea has been their main source of income. Today, their business model of the popular beverage has gone through some major transformations. The village of Wengji has a tea cultivation history going back more than 1,000 years but it had long been isolated from the outside world. San Wen produces his own brand of tea at home. His products can be easily sold to clients nationwide, with express delivery services available at his doorstep. In the past, nobody came to buy our tea because of bad roads. Some villagers would carry some to the market, which was only sold for a few cents per kilo. Today, businessmen and tea lovers swarm here for fresh tea leaves, which can be sold for as high as 200 yuan per kilo. Following the elimination of extreme poverty, China is now pushing ahead with further vitalization in rural areas. In Lantang County, the local government says they will continue to develop high-quality farm products with the help of agricultural experts, and meanwhile, try to preserve the unique culture of different ethnic groups, just like what's being done in Laodabao village. Yang Jinghao, CGTN, Lanshan County, Yunnan Province.